This is a Fujitsu Mini Split Air Conditioner Motherboard, which shows a current trip error on the display. And I am going to tell you how to fix it when it is shown in your Fujitsu Inverter Air Conditioner. Before telling what things to check in the motherboard to fix the current trip error, the first thing you have to check is the compressor of your air conditioner. If the winding of the compressor is short-circuited and it has leakage, the circuit board will detect that the compressor is consuming ampere more than the required amount. The motherboard will trip the compressor and consider this fault as a current trip error. And how to test a compressor, I already have a video on it, which will be linked at the end. I am going to test the low side components of this motherboard. Because in this motherboard, such circuits are made to control the current and the voltages in the motherboard, whether it is high or low. If high voltages or current pass through the motherboard, those circuits also shut off the motherboard due to safety components installed in this motherboard. First of all, checking the resistor numbers 307 and 308 is very important. Because the high positive DC volts enter through these resistors. The next is to check this complete circuit. The work of this circuit is to detect the current and voltages flowing in this complete motherboard. This circuit then gives feedback to the microcontroller. If this circuit goes bad in this motherboard. It will show the current trip error. These two resistors are installed in series. If these resistors are short-circuited, then this circuit will open circuited. This circuit is not able to resist high voltages. These two resistors make this circuit to work. These resistors are installed to control the preset current that would flow through them. Now high volts and current have passed through these resistors, this circuit will go bad. So I am going to tell you what components in this circuit could go bad. The diode numbers 303 and 304. If any one or both of them goes bad. This circuit will not work. The pin number 1 of the diode 304 is on the left side. The pin number 1 of the diode 303 is on the right side. 15 volts should pass through these diodes. If 15 volts are passing then it means that this current detection circuit is working fine till here. The possibility is that the capacitors could also go bad and let me tell you which one. The capacitors number 87, 84 and 85 are if short circuited. This circuit will still cause problems. The resistor number 311 and some resistors at the back side of this motherboard, let me show you those. This is the circuit in the corner. The resistors number 309 and 310 if are bad, still this motherboard will display the current trip error. If the values of these resistors are higher or lower than their original values, you will need to change these resistors. IC302 is a dual comparator. It works to give feedback to the microcontroller if high, low, or no current flow in the circuit. The microcontroller then shuts this IC. If the feedback is not generated to the microcontroller, still it stops the working of this IC. The resistor number 81 is attached to this dual comparator. 5 volts should pass through this resistor. You can see resistor 334, 336, and 337 is printed on this circuit board. These resistors are installed over here in the circuit. 5 volts should also pass across these resistors. If the 5 volts are not flowing through this circuit, then it means the dual comparator or these resistors are bad. This resistor number 339 is attached to Q300, which is an NPN transistor. This transistor has built-in dual resistors. This transistor could also go bad when this motherboard has a current trip fault. Check all these points I told you, and you will get to know where the fault is in your Fujitsu air conditioner motherboard. This circuit has two more important point which needs to be checked to repair the current trip problem. The dual comparator has a capacitor number 305 installed with it. We should get minus 12 volts on the positive pin of the capacitor. And if these volts are not flowing on this capacitor, this motherboard will create a problem. The capacitor number 306 is written here, but it is installed over here. This capacitor should flow 15 volts on its positive pin. If the 15 volts are flowing through this circuit, then it means it is absolutely fine. Otherwise, the comparator or any other component around this circuit is bad. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos and subscribe. Thank you.